Hey guys, so it's Rochelle again, and today I thought that I'd make another video because I'm kind of like on a video roll today because it turns out to be kind of a lot of fun when you get into it. <laughs> so anyway, if you're a vegan or if you have, you know, any sort of dairy allergy or even a gluten allergy or anything that um, is something that's really ingrained in food that's everywhere, it's kind of an issue, especially when you're traveling or if you go into a restaurant with your friends or family and it's not a vegan restaurant um, sometimes there's a couple of issues that come up with that so I thought that I would make a video um, on some of the things that help me in those situations and some of the things that I eat and so yeah so I'm gonna start out by talking about what I do when I'm traveling or on the road whether it's on a plane or um, you know road trip. So for road trips, and, and I'll talk about the airplanes in a second, but um, for a road trip, make sure you have snacks. Um, some really good snacks that I like to bring are bars, like Cliff Bars or Luna Bars or Kind Bars. Um, bars are pretty great because they give you a lot of energy and um, they're not super, super, super heavy depending on which one you buy. Um, I know how to make Cliff Bars um, and it's <coughs> sorry it's a lot cheaper and just as good as ones you buy and you can make a lot of them for not too much money and they'll save for a while I'm probably gonna make a video on that so I can share that with you guys um, the chocolate fudge ones are really good uh, and you can cut as big of a piece as you want sometimes it's hard to cut a bar in half and just have half of it I sometimes that's a little hard but with these you can just you know cut them in as big of pieces as you want and it's kind of nice so yeah I'll show you how to make those pretty soon, maybe tomorrow. And anyway, if you uh, can't make them or you don't have time, just buy a couple, you know, whatever. Uh, keep some nuts with you or something. And nuts other than the people that you're um, on the road trip with. <laughs> you know how it is when you're in a car so long. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, okay. So also something that is pretty good to bring with you is uh, fruit, um, especially apples. Apples keep really well, especially, fruit will keep pretty well, especially if, um, your car is air conditioned and you're not parking too long and it's not somewhere that's like 102 degrees and yeah so like apples um cherries maybe um like you can bring bananas but if you keep bananas in your car too long you're gonna have a car that smells like bananas especially if they're really ripe and it's hot so make sure you eat them pretty quickly um also you might want to bring some nut butter with you you know keep your nut butter in um, you know, like a little Tupperware container or whatnot, or you just pop a whole jar of peanut butter uh, in your traveling bag or in your trunk. It's pretty useful, you know, keep some celery with you or um, whatnot. Also, uh, my advice is keep a cooler uh, in your car because you can put salads in there. Salads are great if you have a type of smoothie that doesn't have to, um, that you're going to be drinking relatively quickly, you can bring that, uh, you know, things like that. You can make a sandwich ahead of time, you can make uh, wraps, you could make anything like that pretty much. So and when you get to your destination, um, try and buy the basics, you know, like potatoes, oatmeal, you know, your vegetables, if you want your Oreos or whatever, just, you know, buy a couple of things and have them in the hotel room, especially if you have a kitchen and you're able to cook, it, it will save you a lot of money and it's easier to eat vegan if you have a lot of stuff already at um, a hotel room. If you don't have a hotel room, usually there's a microwave available somewhere, depending on where you are, and you can make oatmeal otherwise. So the second part of traveling is in an airplane, and a lot of people forget or don't realize that you can bring food on an airplane, you can bring it through the security gate, it just can't be liquid. Um, they're a little funny about hummus and peanut butter, I forgot to say that you can't, you, um, hummus is a good snack too, but anyway, um, they're a little funny about liquids, even things that are more um, thick like peanut butter or hummus so you can't really bring those in an airplane but you can bring as much fruit you can bring sandwiches you can bring a salad as long as it doesn't have dressing which might be an issue for some people you could bring um, like I said sandwich fruit um, that's pretty much it anything that doesn't have to be heated and isn't very liquidy you can bring in an airplane yeah so the second part of this video that I'm going to talk about is uh, how you can stay vegan and avoid dairy or your allergies at a restaurant. So 
Um, if you're a vegan or have any sort of problem with that, um, and you've been to a restaurant with your friends or your family, it, like, it's kind of an issue, you know? Like, they're all ready to order, and you're staring there at your menu, like, <laughs> I don't know what to get yet. Can you come back in five minutes? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of rough. So, um, when you first walk into the restaurant, you know, just kind of look at the menu, um, when you're at the table, kind of overview it, see what they have, what kind of restaurant it is. Well, some restaurants cater more to meat eaters and some don't. Um, so kind of review it, see if there's anything already vegetarian on the menu, because usually it's easier to see, well not see, but make things um, vegan if they're um, vegetarian friendly already. Like for example, I was at this Italian restaurant once with my dad and um, they had a really nice Greek pasta on the menu. It had like tomatoes, garlic, um, fresh basil, it had uh, a bunch of stuff, clementa, clementa of olives, and um, the only thing that wasn't vegan was feta cheese, so I just asked no cheese and the noodles didn't have yolks in them, and I was set. So you can usually get vegan pasta um, if the pasta is vegan, uh, just ask for no cheese. If you're at like a Mexican place, you know, you can get beans and rice, you can get a tostada with like a, um, a tostada if you don't know what it is, you know, corn tortilla with like the beans and um, guacamole and chili or whatever, and you're, you're good to go. Uh, Mexican restaurants aren't too hard to order vegan at because there's a lot of already plant-based foods there. And if you're at a Thai, Japanese, Chinese, um, Indian, any place like that, it's a lot easier because they already have like rice and vegetables and they use a lot of coconut milk, a lot of already plant-based foods. And so it's a little bit easier, just make sure that you clarify. Um, if you're at a pizza place, um, they might look at you like a little strange, but if you ask for pizza with no cheese, um, they'll usually do it, and it's fine, it's wonderful, and it tastes just as good. If you aren't used to having pizza without cheese on it, I recommend you try it, it's pretty good. Anyway, so, yeah, um, when you're at the restaurants, just make sure you clarify that you don't want any, you know, cheese or any milk or anything, and you just kind of have to, sometimes you have to pick apart the menu, uh, you know, whatever, it's okay, order like several side dishes, sometimes I do that. Um, but if you're in a situation where like you're on a road trip or you just get somewhere and you're really hungry and there's like nowhere to go and you can't think of anything and you're with your family and they're like, why don't we just go to a McDonald's or something? And you're like, oh great, what am I gonna do? There are uh, some options you can do that are vegan when you go to fast food restaurants. Um, not really the healthiest, but if you're desperate, it's better than just, you know, sitting and watching everybody eat. Um, you can ask for a sandwich with nothing but lettuce and tomato and pickles and whatnot, um, and different types of vegetables if you wanted to. Um, it's a little rough, but it's better than nothing. Or you could just get a salad. Um, there's a couple of vegan options at fast food restaurants that you could do, such as that. Uh, it's a little bit harder. Like I said, it's better if you have some snacks with you. Uh, like the cliff bars and whatnot, so that if you are in a situation where you're like confronted with fast food place and there's not really anything you can order, then you can just be like, ha, huh, I have some meals in my cooler and I can eat that. So hopefully you brought some extra stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all the advice I have for um, dealing with um, non-vegan restaurants and situations that may come up. Um, when you're traveling or in a restaurant or whatnot. So I hope you guys learned a little something from this video, maybe that you hadn't thought of before. And yeah, so by the way, I like these new better quality videos. Do you like these better quality videos? If you watch the chocolate chai video, I'm so sorry that video was horrible quality. It was like my face was like half gone because the light was like erasing it and like you couldn't see what I was doing and was, oh god it was, it was awful I'm so sorry you guys uh, but anyway <laughs> this is better I'm using a phone and it has a pretty darn good camera except it takes like a thousand years to upload I don't know do you guys have a problem with that let me know in the comments if you have trouble uploading videos if it takes like a really 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 long time because I've been having that problem a lot so anyway, if you have any suggestions for future videos 
or if you um, just want to say hi, I don't know, you can leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And yeah, uh, I love you all. Bye.